Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, we will be talking about variables and data types in C++. This is the fourth installment of our module. Uh, so what is a variable? Let me demonstrate that by asking you a question. What is 2 plus 5? The answer is 7. So what happened here was that you stored the number 2 in your memory and you stored the number 5 in your memory and then you summed them up and then you stored the number 7 in your memory and then you announced the number. The point is that you had to store these numbers in your memory before you could actually process them. Okay, so to do the same thing in a computer programming language you need to declare variables. These variables are place holders just like your memory. Uh, they hold values like 2 and 5 and then you can add them up, subtract them, multiply them, and then you can announce them to the user. And even the, the summation of the two or the division of the two has to be stored in a variable. Okay, so variables are place holders. They hold values like 7, 5, or maybe 1,000 or 5 million, maybe 75.25 and anything like that. Okay, so in this video, we will learn how to declare and initialize variables. And then we're going to look at the two most common data types. In fact, we're going to look at the whole thing together because they all work hand in hand. So let's uh, start by typing some code in here. So let's say I want to declare a variable and the name of the variable is number, uh, let's say, let's say um, my age. Okay, so this is what I would do. My age is an integer variable. Integer means it's a whole number. So it's like 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 1 million, 5 million. These are whole numbers. They're not fractional numbers. They're not like 72.5 is not an integer number. Okay? So anything point something is not an integer. So my age is an integer. So let's uh, type in integer. This is the type of the variable. And then I'm going to type in a name. My age semicolon so what happened here was I just declared my first variable and my variable is of type integer okay and this is the basic syntax for declaring a variable that you you put in the data type you pick a name for the variable and then you put a semicolon okay so let's do one more integer let's talk about somebody else's age their age okay so we just declared a variable called their age and it's of type integer okay so this is one of the basic data types integer used a lot uh, the second kind of data type is double now what double does is you can store values like 0.5 um, 7.5 1000.11 and stuff like that so let's uh do a something that actually has values like that so let's talk about money my money okay and let's uh declare one more variable of type double double their money okay so now we have four variables and if I said my age is 25, 25 I can store in here. If I talk about somebody else's age, I can store their age into this variable. So how we do that is we use function, the function cin, which is spelled like this. So let's um, assign some values to these numbers, to these variables. Let's initialize these variables by some numbers. If we can do that right in the declaration statement so I can start my age by 0 or by 15 or by 25 so this is the initial value I'm given to the variable my age so let's um, do their age 40 okay so let's see my money let's say I have a $1,025 and let's look at their money they have $975.98. Okay, so be careful here. These fractional numbers can be assigned to double variables. These double variables can hold the point whatever. 
okay so let's go down here and take a look at what we can print on the screen this account uh, my age I'm gonna put a new line this is the new line statement let's do count their age okay and then count oops now by the way C++ is a case sensitive language so C out is not equal to C out just remember that okay um my money and let's do their money okay so let's uh, just put one more new line here to keep it cleared up let's save this program do a build no errors no warnings and let's do a run okay so there you go so you get you see the value 25 the value 40 1000.25 975.98 so just to recap uh, this is how we declare variables you specify the type of the variable you specify the name of the variable and then you can assign an initial value to that variable now you don't have to assign an initial value to the variable right away okay you can actually do something like this integer my age and then bottom here somewhere before you print my age you can go my age is equal to now this equal to sign is actually considered an assignment sign so it doesn't mean equal it means assigned so I can assign number 25 to my age okay so if I um, save that build it and run it I get the same values okay and just uh, one more thing if you don't initialize a variable let's say I did not initialize my age to 25 what happens do you think it's zero no it gets assigned a random value that is gonna mess up mess you up in many ways um, in, in more complicated programs so it is recommended that you initialize every variable that you declare so let's do a build you do get a warning here it says my age is used uninitialized in this function so let's let's see what happens if you run this program run the program as you can see it was assigned some random value that we have no idea what it is so it's always a good thing to initialize a variable that you just uh, declared and obviously you don't know what everybody is everybody's age is gonna be so it's safe to actually initialize these variables to zero just so they have a non-destructive value you know the value minus blah 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 whatever we just saw on the screen was ridiculous so after you initialize the variables here you can reassign a brand new value to these these guys so their age 40 okay and this is actually a way better practice than not initializing values so let's uh, build and run and there you go so initially the value of my age was zero but by the time the code came here my age was reassigned the value 25 that means you can also reuse variables in a program and we're gonna look into that because when you're doing loops you do have variables that you have to reuse with brand new values okay so um let's close this out and wrap this up so in this uh, tutorial you learned two data types integer and double integer only holds whole numbers like one two three four one thousand five thousand six thousand a million double can hold values that have uh, fractions so you can be you can you can pick any value 72.75 and you can assign that to a double variable okay so before you declare or create a variable you have to know what it's going to be used for 
and then you have to uh, declare it the right way and then this is the common syntax you put you pick the data type you pick the name of the variable which should be relevant to what you're trying to do and then you can initialize that to zero or whatever value that you want and then don't forget the semicolon after that okay well thanks for watching this video guys subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and uh, click the like button if you like this video and uh, see you in the next module